the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr St. Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood, and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed because you know from whom you learned it and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Be to God. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O Lord, Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees, O Lord. O Lord. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. O Lord, Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. O Lord, your law. Those who love your law have great peace and for them there is no stumbling block. O Lord, peace and faith in the I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. O Lord, peace and faith in the I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you.
loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself called him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to uh, talk for a moment about the uh, city of Eichstadt, Germany. The city of Eichstadt, Germany is a beautiful little college town nestled in the hills of uh, Germany. Now, uh, one of the things it's known for is uh, they had a teacher there, von Weishaupt, who uh, started the Illuminati. So as a result of that, uh, Eichstadt, at least indirectly, um, plays a role in almost every conspiracy theory or movie you've ever seen in your entire life. So that's kind of a cool thing to, to, uh, for, for a town to be known for. Another thing is uh, in more modern days, they have a seminary there for Eastern Rite Catholic seminarians and also for Eastern Orthodox seminarians. Uh, and they go, go to uh, classes together, they celebrate the divine liturgies together, they uh, uh, you know, enter into the prayer together. It's very, very much a sign of the uh, unity uh, that exists already on the spiritual level within the church, but also which we're trying as a church through our prayers and through our uh, recognition of our brothers and sisters in the East and hopefully their recognition of us to try to make it a lived reality, the unity that Christ prayed for, for his church. Another very interesting thing is that the abbess of uh, Eichstadt was for a long time the ordinary. In other words, the bishop worked for her. <laughs> she was in charge of the diocese. And uh, the bishop's job was to go and do the sacraments when she told him to. <laughs> so that was kind of a unique, neat, unique setup. Very rarely do bishops uh, find themselves in that position of actually working for somebody else. But the reason for that, the reason that that came about was because of St. Waldberger, who is an awesome saint if you ever uh, look, look up her life. And then, of course, the devotion to St. Waldberger oil. Because St. Waldberger has been dead for about 800 years now, and her body has uh, gone the way of dust, except for her bones. And I think it's four times a year they have to go and change her vestments because the oil oozing from her bones, uh, which is still go, uh, you know, uh, going on today, so penetrates the, what she is buried in, in her habit, that they, they have to move or change them out if the uh, habit is going to remain thing. And then they take the habit, squeeze out the oil, and then you can get the oil online. So if you ever want oil that uh, uh, ha apparently has some curative value, you can go online and look up St. Walburger oil and get some of it. Now that, of course, brings us to the question of who St. Walburga is. She was an Irish abbess who joined with a crazy young man named Boniface to go and convert the Germans to Christianity. And today we're celebrating the feast of St. Boniface. I can tell you, we're wondering, Father, where the heck are you going with it? No, now you know. Uh, today we're celebrating the feast of St. Boniface. And the interesting thing that we have to keep in mind in Boniface is his work as the uh, apostle of the Germans, he did not do alone. He had about half a dozen people who went with him. St. Patrick also had about four or five people who went with him when he went to convert the Irish. And we see this, you know, throughout scripture. When people go to fulfill a mission, Paul and Barnabas. They go in a couple, they go as, as a group. Um, and this is something very important, I think, for all of us to take to heart. Because at times, some of us are the one who is going out there doing something, uh, but as soon as we think we're doing it as an isolated individual, 
it becomes nothing but pride. It becomes, look at me, how wonderful I am. God can use me to do wonderful things because I am so wonderful. <laughs> and that's not a very good mentality. We have to remember that we are a part of the entire church. And the church works as a body, not as a series of isolated individuals. So as we celebrate this feast day of St. Boniface, celebrate the fact that, of course, without St. Boniface, we never would have had Joseph Ratzinger. So, you know, we should be really happy that St. Boniface showed up on, on the scene. But we should also remember that St. Boniface, like most missionaries in the church's history, although we celebrate them as if they're isolated individuals, were not. When we study their life and their workings, they almost always had a few companions who went with them, assisted them in their works, us as well. If we are going to live out the gospel message, have to remember and keep uh, in mind that we are doing it as a group, as the body of Christ, not as isolated individuals. So if we can keep this fact in mind, we can enter more fully and more completely into the true spirit of the church. The true spirit of the church where someone may be the leader, someone may be the head man or the touchstone, but also the true spirit of the church where nobody is ever in isolation, where the unity that exists among people is something that has to be appreciated and not just tolerated, something that is a sign of the true nature of the church, the fact of working together. So today, as we think about the beautiful little town of Eichstadt, Germany, strongly recommend you go there for a week or two, run up to the monastery on top of the hill. And by the way, the abbess, of course, is still the ordinary in the, uh, in the monastery. That, that, that's always the case. The abbot or the abbess is uh, the equal of the bishop within the monastery itself, canonically. But uh, the, uh, you know, you can go up, up the hill and get yourself St. Walburga oil. Remind yourself that St. Boniface, along with his companions, brought the gospel message to the, uh, to the Germans. And we, along with our family, with our friends, are called to make that same church that they preached present right now. We pray this morning for the health, safety, and protection of our Holy Father, our bishops and priests. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. We pray for a return of peace to our country, uh, our cities, and ourselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that our, our prayers may turn into actions against hatred, bigotry, and prejudice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Uh, we pray for all of those who are sick um, and the dying, especially from uh, the effects of uh, COVID-19, that the Lord will give their caregivers and their loved ones strength and courage in this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering from abuse, uh, addiction, incarceration, loneliness, that the Lord will give them strength and knowledge of his love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those in our families and parish who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the personal intentions of Charlie Kenny, for whom this holy mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have created each one of us in the image of, of your eternal Godhead, which means diversity within unity. We ask that we may always keep in mind that this underlying unity is a characteristic of the church. May we never fall into the temptation of thinking that any of us have to go it alone, or have to do it all. May we always remember that as a part of the church, we accomplish much more in spreading the gospel message than we ever can if we try it in pride May we always have humility in mind. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Boniface, Boniface, win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of his suffering and passion were pleasing to you. I'm sorry, that was the wrong one. As we commemorate the martyrdom of blessed Barnabas, O Lord, make a, uh, we make our offerings at your altar, praying that we who celebrate the mysteries of our Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your Son, uh, when your saints are praised. Their very uh, sufferings were but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith. To their uh, endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth uh, sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with, the Holy, with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Boniface and with all the saints, and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. In our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. The Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am
And now I plan on saying the right prayer, so let us pray. As we celebrate the heavenly banquet, we beseech you, Lord, that in following such a great example of faith, we may be encouraged by the remembrance of the blessed Martyr Boniface, and led by his gracious and by his gracious intercession through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salutaris, O 